Welcome guys to Thrandus Gaming, and this is another video on the Minecraft Survival Guide. So we're here, as you can see there's my uh, other ones, other videos, you can check them out. The, uh, that one was on uh, combat and how to effectively fight different monsters and all the stats about them. Uh, and also this one was about water, so check that one out and how to control it, how to use it. There are some things I've realised I've missed, which is quite a few things, and all those um, things will be in the in the other video. It's actually called the other video. This video, however, however, is on lighting. Now, as you can see, I've got a little setup here to demonstrate lighting. So, um, as you can see, this is marks how many blocks away lighting gets, and it shows the torches get to 13 blocks away. Right, then it stops after that on the 14th block. Uh, now, of course, you need to make place another torch way before that because monsters spawn at around about. Nine, ten, nine, ten blocks away. They can still spawn there. So, um, what you need to do is what I've done over here. Um, effectively, you'd have to do a torch every eight blocks. So, a torch one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, and so on. And so that makes that. So you basically, it's, at the moment, my lighting is not on smooth lighting. So you could see the. Uh, lighting better. When on smooth lighting, obviously it's a lot harder to tell and work out, but of course with it off you can count the blocks. Uh, so as long as there's, you see this bit here, if there's just one shaded line in between each of the things then that's fine. However, it's still not actually true because there's still a, a I'm not sure, but there might be a minor chance that a mob might be able to spawn in there. It's very, very slim, so you can probably ignore that fact. But if you do that, it then creates light all around. Of course, if that wasn't there, it would create the same pattern that's on this side. Uh, thing is about light is if you come over here, and I set it back to night, um, light gets that far. However, if I place another torch, you'll realize something. The lights override each other, causing a darker patch to be there, even though before, if you look at that patch, it was a lot brighter. And that no matter how close you get, there's always a darker patch. So that let's go to say the here. It stays as a darker patch. It creates a darker patch. So yeah, effectively you'd have to do something like this. And that would stop anything. Um but yeah, lighting is a bit fiddly. Uh, another thing also you should know about lighting is that most people, when recording or doing stuff, they have lighting on bright, which changes your whole aspect on lighting. You may think, yeah, all this is all this is lit up. Look at that. It's, that's fine. It's, no mobs are going to spawn there. It's all lit up, isn't it? It's fine. It's all good. See, no mobs are going to spawn there. However, if I change that back to moody, you realize there's a lot of dark areas where mobs can spawn. And so don't be fooled by that setting and always make sure you have a well lit home. Uh, something else you can notice is that light does uh, is not interrupted by glass or vines. It still goes through them without any change of effect. Uh, now I've also just to see which one's brightest. Uh, the torch and fire they produce the same amount of light. However, glowstone glowstone manages to reach an extra block. So it managed to go to the 14th block, leaving the 15th block with no light. So they get that block extra. And this does the same with lava. You see there? And also with pumpkins. Lanterns, sorry. There you go, see? Um, so I've done a little grid there to show. So that's that's the strongest light sources and they're the weakest light sources as you can tell by the signs because look that's a whole lot brighter than that one is. So yeah they're the strongest light sources to use. Uh, now let me just put a light here. Over here as you can see the light is actually emitted in like a in about a circle radius uh, and so when you put a wall up the light will travel up the wall and if I put it right next to this light source, you would, it will travel the same length upwards. However, I'm not going to go 
all the way up. Uh, something you should know, however, is that light is blocked by blocks. And so, um, well, if I remove this, uh, okay, and then I make a hole in here now, the light will come through, and if I block it up, it will go away. However, it's going to be a little bit fiddly because the only I put a torch up here, and the torch was actually emitting this side as well and down here. However, to stop it, I had to create lips on the edges to stop the light from going down, because the light actually just go appears as it would be from a bird's eye view, except it counts as a block higher, so it counts as, counts it as a block further away. So if I remove that, that's a lot brighter. If I put one there, it's a bit darker because it goes in the next one down because it's actually counted as a block further away. Now, how this is relevant is basically just to tell you with your light management and also to know use things like this. And uh, right now, the only when moths were spawning and the uh, light, mobs will only spawn um, on flat surfaces like these. They can't sp spawn on walls or in the ceiling. So if the walls and the ceilings are dark, it doesn't matter. There's no problem. However, this is common in ravines. Let me just make sure it's night time again. If I place a block here, no wait, wait. There or there, monsters can now, mobs can now spawn on this because it has no light, and of course it's a ledge out and it's on a flat surface. So that's how mobs can spawn on ledges of ravines and stuff. And so you have to be careful of that. So if you remove that, it's then safe and nothing can spawn. And so um, basically, this is pretty much all lighting. It's only a short video, as lighting is only a small topic. But always remember. Uh, be careful with the brightness setting because it can be a lot different than you think it is and also the smooth setting um, it really dims it down a bit so that's a lot different it looks a lot brighter now but obviously it's not so don't be fooled by that that's what may happen if you it, mobs may spawn in that and obviously some of you may have experienced with that so um, I hope this video has helped and uh, check out my other videos as they come up uh, it should be out soon um, I hope you enjoyed it, I hope this helped uh, see you another time. Bye-bye.